We are going to continue now with Bible 101. This will be Bible 101 number seven. And of course, it will continue to be in the seminary folder. Now, as you know before, we were dealing with the book of Genesis. And we left off about its being interpreted not only as history, but in several other ways. Now, for example, we're going to go on with examples of these other ways of realizing that even though it's a historical book, it is beyond a historical book in the sense of nothing but history. Like you might read a newspaper about what happened yesterday or happened a week ago. It's totally different. Now, this language, the language of Geschichte, uh, the language asks us to see patterns in events that reveal human, be human behavior that is responsible to truth, not random events or accidents of history, but history that defines dynamics in the life applicable to everyone as individuals and groups and nations. It calls behavior relationships to responsibility, to justice and to righteousness. It also shows in dynamic events the results of the successes and the failures to act consciously or to act unconsciously, awake or asleep aware or conditioned. Now, this begins with Abraham and continues through not only the liberation from Egypt and the coming to God on Mount Sinai, but into the establishment of the nationhood and leadership of politics. In this language is important truth. Examples are God's giving his name as I am who I am. There are the Ten Commandments, which release persons from the slavery and conditioned behavior, hiding a consciousness. The desert wanderings from Egypt to Canaan testing the ability to trust guidance from the comfortable known life into the promised unknown life, to allow oneself to be led from the comforts of slavery into the family, into the freedom of the undefined, the gift of landedness and its responsibilities failures to love the gift, and carelessness resulting in loss. Those are some examples of how this may be applied, not as just a historical book, and not just about personal events, but how they relate to us. So all of this you see, as Maurice Nicole, a student of Gurdjieff said, has inner meaning for all persons in all places. Now, one of the central themes in the book of Genesis is called covenant. Now, this is extremely, extremely important. It goes through the Bible all over the place, but we'll do a little bit of this in Genesis here. The word covenant means a mutual agreement between the authorities and the servants or the vassal. It is the special agreement that God uses to engage the Hebrew people as a special agent in history. The very first covenant which begins this process and is the root of all the historical books and plays an important part in the prophetic books is the covenant with Abraham as the father of the Jewish people. Abraham is called from the unknown faith of his country 
to follow a far future promise with the assurance of a promised land and a people from him which will number as great as the stars of the heavens. So begins the journey of Abraham, which becomes the journey of the Hebrew nation. This covenant is cut with Abraham and reflected all covenants to come. So in other words, the covenant with Abraham is one of the most important covenants in the entire Bible. Now, I have this to say about this next. It is very interesting to read Psalm 105, a concise review of this history beginning with Abraham from a positive view, and then read the same history in Psalm 106 from a view that the Hebrews failure to live up to the covenant. Especially good is the account and commentary in a rare set of books by Charles Spurgeon, The Treasury of David, Volume 5, published in America in 1861, previously published in England, where Spurgeon treats all the psalm line by line with his own and other commentary. Now, we will begin a little of that soon. But to give you some idea of the depth we're dealing with here with the idea of covenant. Um, now, I will just say one more thing. This section shows the beginning of a people who have a special calling. This is a test of that calling and lessons of liberation, trust, leadership. The Jews are to become a light to the nations, a nation of priests, a chosen people. We will continue with this covenant shortly.